Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and this is part 18 of this video series. In this video we will be trying to complete this refresh token part. We had started the refactoring the code in this part 15. Although we could have covered this topic in one video but actually we were just you know making this repository since beginning. So we had to make some changes and the good thing is that I have recovered my this account and I have pushed all the changes that I have had recently done in the previous videos. So you guys can go to the link that I will provide in the description and uh, you have to select the branch refactor. In the refactor branch you will find all the latest code uh, but, but the main branch is not latest. I'll have to merge it. Okay, I created the pull request but I have not merged it yet. So I will review it, will merge from my another account. Okay. So let's flip to the Visual Studio and uh, whatever what code we had written last time, let's check this out. Let's close this everything. Okay, so we have seen that that we created the refresh token successfully and we got the what you say expiry date of the refresh token that how much uh, the validity will be the for the refresh token and we were saving it into the user table now uh, when you see the response after the user login is this JWT token so although we were only returning the JWT token before but now we will be returning one more thing that will be a refresh token and in its expiry date. So we have to change this model. So we, what we will do, we will see okay where it is. It is in the service model authentication user. So I will be going to service model and in the authentication, I am seeing this. Okay, here it is. So I will create another class like the same. And I will make it as refresh token. And better if I rename this class to only token so I can use it in the two places okay let's check it will be replaced in all ways or not yes wherever it is it is token because the class name and this will be same we have to change it hmm. Let's change the name like let's make it as <laughs> no, it will not be giving the error and uh, let's make it as as not null. Was to uh, okay, and we will create another class and we'll leave it as login response. Let's make it as public class property. We don't need this class, not uh, refresh. Let's copy this, go back here, name it as access token.
copy and paste make it as refresh token okay and let's copy this where is the service i user management okay now replace it by login response let's also make this login response safe if we go there we will see we get some error so in place of this we will be making login response we'll be getting error but we will resolve it okay now see we are getting error login response login response tap to accept uh why well, it's not working my keyboard okay now you see what it needs login response okay so we have to change this response object access token now it's time for the refresh token is equals to new token type and this token equals to this user dot refresh token either you can do that as well and copy expiry date equals to this one user dot refresh token expiry it looks like fine and uh, same problem here we have to fix this login response invalid otp Now let's check by running it. Okay, I got the code. Now let's go back here. Try it out. Paste. Write the username. Execute. Now you see, we added this. we have a, this one is the refresh token and in the and this one is our access token so we are good to go with the next step now